Uh, what was the vibe like when you when you went down there? Oh, not great at that stage. We, like you said, we finished thirteenth, um, and everyone was yeah a bit flat and a bit down the dumps. Obviously, I rocked up at the end of the year, so um, the start of pre-season was pretty brutal. It was pretty full on. Um, obviously, want to make a man get back into finals, um, but then yeah, after that next season, that's when we started to turn around. Yeah, and yeah, finally found that belief, which was good. Yeah, yeah. and um, is, is there? I mean, it's, it's going to be a hard question without notice, but. Is there a particular moment where you went, hang on, like, things are changing or is a particular thing that, that changed in the, in the group that made you go, um, we're a real chance here? Do you, I remember Jimmy went to America for a one week course at Harvard. Mm. It's like a um, leadership and growth course. And he came back a completely different man um, and just changed him, just changed him forever. He reckons it changed his life. Um, and then yeah, he just coached us differently, approached us the way he did things differently. Um, and I reckon that was a turning point. Yeah. Yeah. So just. Uh, I imagine highly stressed and strung yeah, uh, yeah, bef before yeah. that, and then and came real, back like, yeah. more what, jovial and just yeah, just love taking and the pressure care off. and um, like it's okay to miss a kick and we're not going to win every game and yeah. um, accepting things what they are yeah. instead of being like yeah don't kick this fuck we can't lose yeah. all this stuff. Um, he, was, he was a pretty hard nosed player in his playing, he was, yeah. so he probably took that a bit to his coaching I think originally. So, yeah, and he's such a um, proud man mm. that he'd take all the criticism that would come his way and losses yeah. and build it up where now it's just, it is what it is. Yeah. Like if we go out and give it our best and we lose, well, that is what it is, we go again. Yeah. yeah. And, and you st started doing some sessions, um, I read, um, that was just about different players opening up about you know um, their past and um, being a little bit vulnerable and, and being a bit more grateful. Was that, was, yeah. uh, was that, a, was that a big part as well, for, to get to know each, each, um, each player a bit more? Because I know footy environments are very like, Generally, they're very macho, and everyone pretends there's nothing wrong. And yeah, yeah. Um, so that was a bit of a change of mindset too. Yeah, definitely. We got this girl called um, Emma Murray down, and she's the one that changed that around. Um, which you hear a lot of these days. It's okay to be vulnerable yeah. and all that stuff, which was what we started implementing. And yeah, we wanted to get to know each other on a deeper level, yeah. not just footy. Yeah. And um, yeah, we had some pretty full-on and heavy sessions at camp, um, which brought a lot of tears out and all that stuff. But yeah. Um, it just allows you to then walk away and have a conversation with that person, a follow-up, yeah. and all that stuff. And um, yeah, from then on in the club's just been it's just how we are now. Everyone's happy to talk about what's going on, and yeah, yeah not, not you don't feel that macho man all the time. Yeah, yeah. and um, probably comes across with some of the recruiting as well. Mm. Uh, you know, like a crazy story with, from the grand final, the, oh, yeah, the, the debut, uh, Marlon. They get. Um, so you, you recruit guys with, um, you know, that might on paper look like, you know, the best person to be drafting, but um, you guys just back your culture in so much to, yeah, you know, I guess show a bit of love and, and get around yeah, different exactly right. individuals. I reckon that's what's changing now. It's not all about how many kicks and how many touches you get and all that stuff. It's about what type of person you are and how, how you can build into the culture that we've got there. Mm -hmm. And um, like I can honestly say, there's not one player on the list who I wouldn't like to go and have a beer with or whatever. Yeah. Um, we got a pretty much just a big family going on there. And that's what the thing about the coaches and the players now, it's, it's not us first them like it used to be. Yeah. Now it's, we're all in together, we're all one. Yeah. So like I can happily go and have a beer with one of the coaches or anything. And um, yeah, it's good.